Alright, what's up everyone? It's me, Barky, and I'm here with another mod for Rimworld Alpha 16, and this is the hard-working animals mod. So if you've played Rimworld quite a bit and used animals, you'll notice that they tend to not really haul as much as you would expect them to, because, like, that's just how their priorities work. It turns out that this is almost, in a way, a bug, but at the same time it keeps things balanced, in that animals' priorities get changed quite often, to the point where they don't haul, so they'll be wandering around quite a bit. Apparently, that's what the mod says is the case, but I, I'm not actually sure about that kind of stuff. Uh, so what this does is it adds in another two levels to haul links. As you can see, I've got haul links, seven out of nine over here. Adds in another two levels to enable the animal to haul. But once you have those uh, like extra two levels, it increases the efficiency by a ton. It won't seem like they're being lazy anymore. They'll haul the same way colonists do, and that they'll constantly do it. So I do have a speed test where I compare this situation to modded and non-modded, which I think is it's pretty freaking staggering the difference. But yeah, so just keep in mind that does take an extra two levels. But you'll see straight away that the animal will now dedicate most of its time to hauling instead of wandering. As you can see, I've enabled hauling here. Now, this is something you would never see a vanilla animal do constantly. They would do that once or twice, then go chill somewhere else or something. And he's probably just going to sleep now. Yeah, so he's going to sleep and then he'll wake up tomorrow and come back to do the work. Which is super fucking cool. Like, I really, really love what this mod does. If you've seen any of my streams, you'll notice that I tend to keep a lot of animals for as long as I can. Because I really like animals in the game, actually. They're, like, they're really nice to use and it's nice to have haulers. But late game... I tend to ditch animals and kind of just use those spare colonists to start hauling because the hauling is so ineffective. It really is, as well as the rescuing and other stuff not being effective either, but that's just, that's its own problem. That's, it'll be worked on in the future, TM. So yeah, so it's, it's really, really interesting what they do. So what I have got set up are two different playthroughs, or not playthroughs, sorry, two different recordings that I have, which compares a modded one of 10 huskies Fully trained, all of them, whoops, wrong tab. 10 huskies, fully trained with hauling, non-modded, compared to modded. Exactly the same situation in every way. I've saved the timestamp and everything so that we can find out the exact time it takes. It's really, really interesting. I do think that this mod should be part of vanilla, since I've had a few people tell me that I need to start clarifying that. I do think this mod should be in the game. Uh, because right now I feel like animal hauling, you need like massive numbers of them. And when I play, I do generally have massive numbers of dogs and stuff like that to kind of make up the imbalance for it. But early game, it's almost not really worth having some animals if you're, if you're in an area that doesn't have much food or animals, etc. You can't get like the meat you want. So I can totally understand just straight up killing an animal because you know that it won't be overly useful. Yeah, you can see this machine just going. Like, he's done this all by himself in a day. A day and a half, basically. And this is just one. The rest of them can't haul. So, I haven't I haven't trained them to level 9 yet. As you can see. It's very, very, very interesting. I actually, I love the take on this. I really, really do. I really do. And I hope that in the future, animals become a lot more useful. Because... Yeah, because I, th I think they're just under, I, they're criminally underused right now. So here's the speed test. As I said, it is 10 huskies, all fully trained to the, to like the brim, enabled hauling. And then one is modded, one is non-modded. So what they do is they'll try and get the steel slag trunk to fill up this stockpile over here. And then, as Rumbled, obviously it has different events, so I can't set an actual timer. So what we have is the number of days. So the challenge starts on the 12th. And then it goes until they've filled this up. And as you can see, there's more of these trunks than there is for this zone. And that's just to make sure that there's no conflict. Like, if I had, say I wanted to spawn in, like, 10,000 gold and I put it on one slot, it would mean that only one husky can take from it at a time. Let's just make sure that they can always haul, if possible. Okay, so we're going to start with the non-modded haul challenge first, just to see how it goes. And then after that, we'll do the modded one. So here we go.
All right, so non-modded took five and a half days to transfer all the steel slag chunks into the stockpile, which is really, really interesting. It took about five and a half days, roughly. I started at about 12 o'clock on the first day, so just, just keep that in mind. So now let's go to the modded one. It should be a lot faster if the mod is correct, but we'll have to wait and see, obviously. I'll, I'll keep time lapsing and stuff just to make sure that it doesn't drag on for too long. Wow, so the modded one took one and a half days to do the same that the non-modded one took. That is insanely quick. I don't know what kind of drugs these animals are on, but uh, I kind of like some of that. But yeah, that was just crazy. So that is the mod, guys. That's pretty much all it does. It just makes animals a bit more useful. And as you can see, the pile is done. It literally took one and a half days. That's four days less than non-modded. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know what the exact efficiency rate that would change because uh, there are 10 huskies So the more animals the more quick it would be the bigger the difference would be etc etc. I can't give you guys a flat number But I'd say they're about two to three times more uh, Hard working than before they do about two to three times more which is insane It is absolutely insane. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you very much for watching I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Hey you Thank you very much for making it to the end of my video. You've actually proved yourself to be above the average. Above the average. Because the average watch time of my video is 63%. But that's okay, because 63% is exactly how much you need to get a message across. And funnily enough, you only need to watch about 60% of this message to get what I'm making it for. Anyways, I've decided to open up a Patreon. If you'd like to support me, besides in the amazing ways that all of my awesome subs already usually do, then you can head over to the link in the description to check it out. All your support is appreciated, monetarily or not. If you're a subscriber, then be sure to hit the little bell over here to always be up to date with videos I push out. And head over to the Discord if you ever want to have a deep and meaningful chat with me. And last but not least, I hope you're having an amazing day.